Hello, Amsterdam. Merry Christmas. <gasps> like one of her ugly stepsisters. <laughs> I'm so tired. After but, so many interviews. Yes. Am I the umptieth? Um, yeah, you're, you're pretty up there. That's, that's not in my advantage, is it? Depends on how, how interesting the questions are. Okay. We know a lot about uh, the comparisons between you and Evita, but what about the differences? That's a very good question. Thank you for asking it. Well, I'm alive. She's dead. That's one. Um, You're more famous. Well, not anymore. Um, now I think everyone knows it. I don't think that Ava Peron saw herself as an artist. I think that I have much more freedom because I approach everything from an artistic or a creative point of view, whereas all the work she did was in the name of her husband's um, government. So she had much... How about you? Well, I think you can be political with your art. I think if art provokes or makes you think or makes you question, um, society, then I think you are being political. So I think I have been. Do you live for your art as she lived and suffered for her people? Yes, I mean, I think it goes both ways. I think that my work inspires me and I think that I inspire my work, so, yeah. Still, after 45 years, fascinated by her. Well, I think, um, I think that when she was alive, she did some very controversial things, um, especially in Latin America. The fact that she was a woman and that she attained so much power, the fact that she gave women the right to vote. She allowed women to get divorced. She gave women a lot of rights. I think that that provoked a lot of people. Um, and she died at a very young age, which also sort of furthers her myth. Whenever you die young and tragically, you kind of live on forever, like Marilyn Monroe or James Dean, people like that.